Hey, Mr. Amsot, working late. What's up? Yes, turns out we found a new type of Josephson effect in Bose Einstein condensates. We call it the orbital Josephson effect. Wow, sounds interesting. It is indeed. Let me tell you more. We propose the following specific setup for the realization of an orbital Josephson effect. A Bose-Einstein condensate trapped in a ring geometry whose motion is effectively constrained along the radial degree of freedom as indicated by the arrows in the sketch. We consider the condensate to be initially in the zero angular momentum mode. Along the effective degree of freedom a driving potential is applied. In our specific example we take a potential which can be written as a product of a purely spatial and a purely timelike part, both of which can be decomposed in a first and a second harmonic. This way both the time and space inversion symmetry is broken. The overall amplitude of the driving should be sufficiently small and we should be close to a resonant driving frequency. The dynamics of this system is in effect mainly governed by contributions of the zero angular momentum mode and two further non-zero angular momentum modes with mutually opposite sign. The motion among these modes is described by an effective Hamiltonian which can be decomposed in the following parts. A hopping term with hopping parameters gamma plus and gamma minus depending on the driving field parameters. A chemical potential difference between the two side modes and the zero mode which is controlled via detuning from exact resonance. And finally a term that accounts for the particle interactions. A central result is that the effective interaction term is such that two particles only interact with each other when they are found in the same mode. Note that this effective Hamiltonian is not time dependent anymore. This effective description is mathematically equivalent to that of an internal or external Josephson junction. This observation and the characteristica of the participating modes motivate the term orbital Josephson effect. A more common two-mode system can be obtained by an accordingly adjustment of the driving field parameters such that either gamma plus or gamma minus vanishes. In our numerical study we found three main dynamical regimes. Apart from the well-known Rabe oscillations and the self-trapping regime, we find a chaotic regime for intermediate interaction strength. In this regime the mean field predictions fail rapidly in time, what can be seen by a comparison of the mean field results with the numerical solution of the many body system within our effective description. In our analysis we go beyond single particle observables and found strong indications for the creation of macroscopic superpositions in this chaotic regime. Interested? Then read and enjoy the paper.